All right, all right, all right. Back here on Radio Row. Vibes are up. That hot shit coming in. I got Jonathan Jones. John, welcome to Bring the Juice. You're looking great. Shout out to Bounty for making this connect happen. For sure, for sure. Shout out Bounty. Best best paper towel in the game. I spilled a little buffalo sauce on the table yesterday. It's a white it's a white table. I didn't yeah. want to leave a mess. One white. One. It only takes one. Hey, go I Bounty. Love, you know, these go little Letterman's jackets, they're kind of smooth. They're, fly. they're kind of fly. Little. It's that's, nice. like, that's like same color that's wave. Damn. Ooh, got might have to I get might, you one of those. Yeah, 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 that might have to come with me. <laughs> John, let's talk ball real quick, man. Yeah. You know, one thing everyone who's played the game knows, yes, physically, it's taxing, it's hard. But what separates people from good and great and gets you to excel at the next level is the mind. It's, yeah. it, it's the mental side of the game. What do you think you've done to grow as a player mentally more than anything? Uh, I think it was just start off as just learning, like being a sponge, man. When I first got into the league, uh, I mean, New England was already great when I got there. But so I just uh, soaked up all that information, you know, all the greatness that was in that locker room, Absolutely. all those guys who done so much, you know, had Hall of Fame careers. And I just got to sit back and learn, you know, and, you know, not talk a lot, not not say much, just yes. all, absorb all the information that I can. Uh, so when it was my turn, I was ready, you know, ready to go. Who's a dude in the league that's really taken you under their wing that, you, you know, you learn a lot? How to become a pro because of them? Oh man, Devin McCourty, man, to come into a locker room and have a guy like that um, to to learn under, you know, not even just on the field, off the field, right? Just the, the totality of being um, a professional and what that comes with, you know, yeah. day in and day out. On the days you don't want to get up and chase greatness, yeah, because everyone has those days. The bed just feels a little too good, bro. Yeah. yeah. What's the voice in your head that says, "Hey, we gotta go. We gotta go attack this. We gotta go get the work in." What's your why, man? I've always been taught, uh, make it bigger than yourself. Because uh, you always quit on yourself. It's human nature. At some point, you'll say, hey, I don't yep. want to do this. But when it's bigger than yourself, whether it's family, whether, you know, kids, you know, my kids and my family, it's like, okay, I, I have to. It's right. not, you know, it's not a, I, well, I don't want to, but I have to. And so you said you have those days where you don't want to get up, you don't want to do it, but you don't have a choice. You, you don't, don't have, have a choice. choice. What about from the perspective of going in, you know, I played at Fresno State, different than Auburn, okay? That transition from the league, though, yeah. what was the biggest difference? Oh, man, it's, it's no school. There's no other things. It's, it's football. It's your job. Right. And it's a job. You're not on scholarship. You know, back in the day, when you're on scholarship, <laughs> you're no on check. scholarship. No you, check. you was going to be there. You was going to be there four years. You had a bad year. It was year. a timeline. It was a timeline. Right, right, I right. Mean, I was undrafted. So, I mean, my timeline was that day. You know, if I didn't do good that day, I was gone. So you walk in with that urgency right. when you're undrafted. You know, I didn't have any guaranteed money in my contract. So it's like every day you're on your P's and Q's because, you know, they can come in and cut you and, you you know, you're back home. Right. Yeah. That undrafted mindset like, hey, all right, I wasn't good enough for these other teams. Is that an edge that you carry with you? Man, you never forget that. You never forget it because you're going i'm going into year nine and it's like <sighs> congratulations i appreciate that i appreciate that yeah. but you're going into year nine and i'm like i knew i had what it take i got the opportunity coach belichick you know gave me the opportunity and i'm always forever grateful for that um and then once you get your opportunity it's on you and so i try to make the most of my opportunities uh day in and day out but it's a different grind i have a different respect for guys who go the undrafted route <laughs> it's crazy lifestyle man it is you it don't is. know i mean i think people don't realize it becomes so like it gets numb it, it becomes like watered down almost where i was like oh yeah this guy went undrafted like but you don't understand like there was a point did you think you were getting drafted at some point i did okay so there's a point where you think you're getting drafted you think your life's gonna go a certain way your name just doesn't get it just ends this yeah. draft ends phone call rings opportunity arises but like there's some dudes who they don't realize you might be done playing football yeah. it's the one game where you really don't know when your last game is your last game. It is. And that's a super, you know, scary feeling. And it's not like, hey, there ain't no pickup basketball. I mean, pickup football leagues like there is. <laughs> Let's nah. go to the rec right now and yeah. play some hoops. Like, nah. once you're done, nah. you cannot restructure organized, chaotic, high-level football ever again. You can't. You can't. So knowing that, you know, going into year nine, huge accomplishment. Appreciate that. NFL, not for long. But Appreciate you're that. overcoming adversity like, <laughs> like crazy. When adversity does strike. Yeah. What's the initial reaction? Man, even going back to like not getting drafted, I got a rule, 24 hours. 24, got 24 hours. hours to like accept it, soak in it, whatever it is, however you feel about it. It's human nature, you're gonna have uh -huh. some emotions about it. Uh -huh. And after that, you gotta formulate a plan and get through it. Like yeah. you literally have to get through it. Uh, and so whatever that takes, whatever that takes, is formulate a plan and get through it. 
I just watched Ted Lasso. I don't know if you've seen it. It's no, kind of it's kind of cheesy ass show, but the guy said he's a coach. He's like, you have the mind of a goldfish. They have a 10 second memory. I'm yeah. like, I like that. Yeah, I like that. You, you know, have to. but you got to rip it off like a bandaid. You can't sulk in it. No one, no one's feeling sorry for you, bro. No one's, no one's gonna gonna no one cares. Keep going. No one cares. The world's gonna keep going. It's you versus you at the end of the day. That's it. What gets you fired up, John? Like gets you going? Like what's something that's like, yeah, this is the juice right now. <laughs> Man, just dominating like as a defensive player like yeah. when you when you tackle somebody um and you hit grown men and you know they had they gave everything they had and they couldn't like they could that was you it you impose your will you oppose your will on them <laughs> like getting them back to that it's no it's no better feeling it's no better uh, feeling people the the electricity <laughs> is just like <laughs> it's it, it definitely is something different yeah talk to you about you got a big old ring on right now yeah. show, show the camera that real quick yeah that's it Winning the Super Bowl. Yeah. What was that experience? Oh, uh, man, nothing like it. You know, the first Super Bowl we won was my rookie year. You come in, like I said, you're, you're happy to be there. Yeah. You made it through all the adversities of going undrafted to be on the team. Y'all end up in the Super Bowl. Um, down 28-3 at halftime. Ah, be a part of one of the greatest. I saw Matt Ryan here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> be a part of one of the greatest comebacks, you know, in Super Bowl history as a rookie. You can't, you can't top that. Um, and then the second year going to the Super Bowl, losing to Philly. Third year coming back, winning again. Ah. That's a career that, you know, you couldn't script it any better, man. What's your favorite ring? Oh, man. I wish I could be like Tommy, like the next one. The next one? I haven't I had, had another out, one in a while. I so. feel like a broad right now. It's just the next one. Um, <laughs> but, no, looking forward to another one. Um, but just, man, something special about that L.A. LA uh, Super Bowl. I don't think anybody expected us to be there that year. No. We weren't the team you right. know, on paper. But, well, you know, we came together and, and won, and that was like, it was amazing. It fires me up, man. Yeah. What's the uh, – and you don't got to get too in this, but, like, adversity struck with the Patriots organization. Yeah. You know, human nature. I, I played ball. I went through coaching staff changes. It's different without Bill there. Yeah. But I feel like the Patriot way is still enabled of, like, hey, okay, good. Yeah. Now what? Yeah, what? what? Being a vet, has your mindset shifted of I need to step up and, and – and, and, make the Patriot way, you know, represented more now than ever? Or, like, what, what's your mindset a little bit? Uh, I think, for me, uh, as one of the older guys, is just to, to be an extension of Mayo, you know. Uh, he's going to have his imprint on it and how he wants it done. Right. And as a leader, it's just your job, you know, to go back into the locker room uh, and relay that message, you know, at the end of the day. Uh, and not just through words, just your actions, you mm -hmm. know, and, and being – um, being the leader that he wants and, and wants in that locker room, like I said, he has that consistency of the Patriot way, but he's going to put his own flair on it. He's going to put his own flair on it, so I'm excited for that. Last question. How much do you love bounty paper towels? Man, you can't beat them, man. I, I, you never have a mess. You never have a mess in your house with bounty around. I, I'm, I'm going to start putting paper towel rolls up all over my house, I Every, think, because I spill crap like crazy. Everywhere. Bro. Everywhere. I, 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 my you people got, roll in the car. <laughs> And then I love coach. it. I'm going to put one up here. <laughs> Anyways, sure. John, I appreciate you. We'll collab on the gram. Make sure yes, to follow sir. John. Use Bounty Paper Towels. Bring the juice. Stay fired up. We'll see you next time. John, appreciate you, bro. Pleasure, man. Appreciate it. Yes, sir.